Douglas students are required to get shots, but nearly 8,000 have medical or religious exemptions. Most doctors say vaccinating against measles is a no-brainer. We see a lot more kids that are coming in with autoimmune disorders. But Hiawatha chiropractor C.J. Clean says in a world of autism, ADD, and ADHD, parents should make an informed choice. So far, her three-year-old has not been vaccinated. We feel that in the United States, the risk of actually contracting one of those diseases and having a very adverse effect from those diseases um, does not outweigh the potential risk from what those vaccines may cost from their toxic overload to our children. On our Facebook page, many strong opinions. Becky writes, I can't send food that contains peanuts to school, but you can send your kid unvaccinated. Angela says people who don't vaccinate are putting every other person at risk. Infants who haven't been able to get all their vaccines yet and people who suffer from immunodeficiency diseases. Dr. Clean says parents should make the final decision, but also keep it in perspective. I have moms coming in here and saying, I don't want to vaccinate my kids. I don't want them to have any of that toxic exposure, but then have no problem running them through a fast food restaurant. Covering the corridor, Matt Himmel, CBS 2 News, 10 at 10.